Hi, Joe Glavin with City Floor Supply. Uh, today we're going to change the edger pad on the American Sanders 7R edger. And I'm here with Miguel, and Miguel is going to change out the pad for us, uh, show you some techniques to get this pad off. Um, I do want to caution you that the armature that goes through with the pinion gear to the bull gear, drive gear that drives this pad, is threaded. So that pinion gear is threaded. So you want to be careful that you don't unseat that threaded pinion gear because it is left-handed. Um, and the direction that we're gonna be taking this off would spin that off. Um, we have some solutions to that if it happens, and we'll go through and, that. Uh, Miguel's gonna show you where we go first is to take off the exhaust. So there's four socket head cap screws and a gasket. And the reason for taking off uh, the exhaust is so that we have access to the uh, vacuum fan. And we want to use the vacuum fan um, as opposed to the motor cooling fan because it's got much more uh, meat to it and will allow us to break this free once we stop it up. And this tool here is our spanner wrench. Um, we make them here in the shop. You can make something similar with a piece of steel and some bolts that are um, you know, this distance apart and it'll work just fine. You just use the same techniques that we're doing here. So that quick hit is to break that threaded uh, threading free uh, so that we don't disturb the pinion gear which is threaded onto the armature as I was talking about earlier. You want to make sure that you put that washer back in. Um, it's almost like a crush washer but really what it's doing is keeping um, this edge here, this surface, from seizing on to the steel that it goes up against. Um, again, that will help you not to unseat the pinion gear. So that's a right-handed thread, uh, just spins on. That will tighten itself as you work the machine. Yeah. If you feel that the edger has uh, excessive hopping or it's jumping, uh, you can dress the pad. Some guys will just take you know, 100 grit or 80 grit, um, an old belt, put it between their feet, stand on it, and then just keep the casters on the floor on a flat surface and just dress the pad a little bit. So what you'll do is take any high spots from the rubber out and, and that'll make it sand or edge a lot smoother. So uh, normally, again, as I was saying earlier, uh, if the edger is hopping or uh, jumping around, you can dress the pad. Uh, one of the other things that you'll want to do is kind of indicate where the edger is cutting with regard to how the casters are adjusted. Um, in the shop, we use this piece of, um, of aluminum. And you know, if you look down through here, you'll see where the contact is on this aluminum plate with the pad. You want to have it slightly offset of 12, uh, closer to one, it's going to help your dust pick up. So if you have any questions um, with regard to edger pad changing and adjustment, wheel level, caster leveling, um, you can give us a call at 800-737-1786. And if you want to order an edger pad for your 7R, you can go to cityfloorsupply.com.